Hello everyone! New part of my builder's blog RV10 Wings Build uh, movies and in this part I will continue to work on my wings. I will start assembly of my wings actually. Ribs, spars, riveting, whole process. So less words, more, more work. Let's start.
and finally wing riveting has been completed. Well, I read a lot before starting to rivet my wings. I read forums and many people were recommending different types of technique. What worked for me, I'll say. So first of all, uh, I read a lot and I actually bought some tools for that. So some were saying use a back riveting technique. It's easier, just use a big uh, backing bar, like flat backing bar, put it on flat surface and use that offset spring loaded um, tool for back riveting and it's gonna work. Someone else said use the uh, mushroom with the rubber sealant to avoid slipping from the, um, from the wing and so on. Like different opinions on how to rivet wings. Uh, I must say what worked for me and for my helper, like what worked for us. First of all, two people like it's not one person job for sure it's two people job uh, and as you could see just in the video like I was staying from the one side using the rivet gun and my um, helper was from the other side holding the backing bar so this backing bar that's regular standard backing bar which worked just uh, perfect it's well I just use some uh, masking tape here just to avoid scratching the, the surface of the ribs uh, and uh, this mushroom type head for the rivet gun that's it those two things plus rivet gun i set my rivet gun the pressure was set to 40 psi on my compressor and my um, adjuster here was set like closer to minimum about uh, it took about i would say 10 hours for two people including the lunch like we did one wing had some break did another wing non-stop slowly slowly one by one from the center to the sides uh, i don't have any issues like no bends i have two smileys like little tiny smileys somewhere in the corner like definitely not easy to find even those and i'm sure with the uh, working on the painting of my airplane that's going to be fixed it's not a big issue uh, aside of that uh, we were checking like h10s h20s rivet with the uh, with the check tool and yeah as i said it's about whole day whole working day for two people and both wings were completely finished so it's not hard it's not difficult and the only thing i used that sort of a technique when i was holding my like my rivet gun was this mushroom i was holding it with one hand and other hand i was supporting the mushroom head so i was just basically supporting it like that so i was working like that supporting just to avoid sleeping you know i uh, i had that uh, head which has a rubber like that the orange whatever rubber around i don't know why i didn't use it i tried it a couple of times i found that that rubber is a little bit off top of the head itself so i thought i don't know like i have to push it harder anyway that worked for me so this simple mushroom and the rivet gun set to 40 psi pressure and my rivet gun is x3 uh, just for your information and yeah it worked fine and as you can see both wings are now riveted i'm just now finishing the uh, those hangs for the ailerons here just like have to rivet a little bit more and that's it i'm done with wings i'm moving on so let's watch let's continue that was just quick update about the wings uh, riveting.
This is the end for this video for now and big amount of work have been completed as you can see the final part was to build this sort of a cart for the wings for now I just put a uh, I put just a piece of wood there, like a brick of wood, just to hold the longerons. But at later, when my leading edges are done, I will put some sort of a carpet there, so to make just to hold it all completely. But even though, so for now, what has been done? Wings uh, riveted, this one side of the skins, everything is prepared. Uh, working on my leading edges, started to rivet my leading edges. Still have more to go here. Lots of work. Uh, also finished this cart for the wing moving across the hangar well I wish I could build something more sophisticated but I just picked this design which is cool which is easy to use nice design they can use uh, I can move it anywhere in my hangar and yeah in the next video I'll continue to work on my leading edges I will continue to work towards uh, in leading edges I have still to install the uh, stall horn, something else. I order it. I order it landing lights for my leading edges, so those should arrive at some point, and uh, it's going to be fun to install them. Uh, with the same time, the next will be fuel tanks, which I will start. I just ordered from Vance uh, my tank sealant. We will see how long will it take to ship it here, because I need probably at least two quarts of the tank sealant. Well, we will see. For now, that's it. That's all. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing, for your comments, and see you next video. Bye.